What's up, it's the Coaster Craze, and Silverwood in Idaho just announced their new for 2021 roller coaster. So it is an RMC Raptor prototype clone, and usually I don't do analyses on clones, but because all the new for 2020 coasters basically have been pushed back to 2021, and there are so few new announcements for new coasters, I figured, let's do one, why not? There's some things to talk about for sure. So right off the bat, I want to say that from everything I've heard, the RMC prototype for the Raptor model is amazing, especially for its short layout. It's only barely over 1,800 feet of track, and it's relatively small stature. I have some of the stats up on the screen right now. So another thing to just note is I'm not sure what side it is because the two prototypes that are in existence, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, which I would have written this year if it wasn't for coronavirus, and Railblazer at California's Great America are actually mirror images of each other. Doesn't change things up too much, but I'm not sure which mirror this one is. Anyway, it's called Stunt Pilot, which is a really cool name, very unique, and it's actually themed around the air shows that used to happen every day at Silverwood. This is something I never knew because I've never been even close to Idaho, but apparently they discontinued them in 1996. So now they're kind of bringing it back in a new form, and I think that's so cool. I love when parks honored their own history and kind of appeal to like the large fan base that has been going to the park for a while. Silverwood's kind of a smaller park, which has like a very dedicated community that goes there, all the people in Idaho and stuff and around the area. So that's really, really cool. And especially you'll also draw on new visitors as well because it's an RMC Raptor, which is so, so cool. I mean, I'll be hearing a lot about a lot of these new ones coming and Silverwood is the perfect type of park for it because they're not the most high capacity rides. I mean, they only see eight people, although I am hearing rumors that this could have a 10 row train, which if that's true would be insane in the back row because I know the current models, which have eight row trains, have so much whip, particularly in the back, that's insane. So if this has like the ninth and 10th rows, those are gonna be remarkable. Also, I'm not sure about if it'll have the comfort collars. I assume, unfortunately, that it will, considering that seems like what they're doing with all the trains now, which is the biggest drawback, but what are you gonna do? It'll be a fantastic attraction. I'm sure it's gonna be the best in the park. And it's a great fit because not only is it not the most massive park in terms of needing a high capacity ride, and also needing like some massive like RMC T-Rex or other big model, but it has airtime and inversions in one coaster, which is something that the park currently lacks. It has a solid inversion-based coaster with Aftershock, the Vekoma Giant Boomerang, and it has two solid airtime-based wooden coasters with Tremors and Timber Terror. But I feel like every park needs a coaster that has both great airtime and inversions, and that's something that usually only RMC offers. So basically, every park needs an RMC. So I'm so glad to see a smaller park like this getting one because they wouldn't be getting like a big like hybrid or any other larger model, like a ground up wooden coaster. So it makes a lot of sense for them to get this smaller Raptor. And especially we've been talking about it for so long since RMC Rocky Mountain Construction is based in Idaho as well. So we're like, when are they going to finally get an RMC? The day has finally come, which is really, really awesome. Again, I would have loved for it to be a custom layout. I know that's a lot more money for just engineering costs and all of that. So that makes total sense. And I mean, they could have easily gone with a much different route, like let's say Adventureland in Iowa, who's getting an SNS free spin next year, which is another solid coaster, but like an RMC Raptor is a massive step up. I mean, that's something that we're wishing for all these Six Flags parks. Like I know my personal home park of Six Flags America, I've been praying for a Raptor like every year now since the design first came out. So for the people of Idaho that go to Silverwood, that's gonna be so, so exciting. So basically to wrap it up, I think this is an awesome addition. It's really exciting to have some sort of coaster announcement this year since we're not getting the big ones from Six Flags or Cedar Fair or really any of the other big parks and chains. Um, the only thing I have to say is that since we already kind of know this coaster model, the really things that are in variance are how many trains it's going to run. I'd assume three since that's usually what this model runs, the prototype at least. I really hope it ends up having the 10 road trains, but even if it has the eight, that'll be great. But the thing that I'm really hoping for is that they have some awesome theming. I think they'll probably have a little bit in the queue, maybe they'll pay homage to their old stunt show, and maybe have a couple other things here and there, but I think some like on-ride theming like that you fly by would be amazing. That would be just so cool to have all these like planes and stuff, and like with the stunt pilot, maybe have like one of those rings that like you pass through as the coaster goes by. Just little things to touch it up and make this 
the best of the RMC Raptor prototypes because the other two have some theming as well. The one at Fiesta Texas has of course like the Wonder Woman statues and like it's over a lake and there's like a crash plane I believe in the queue while Railblazer at Great America has like all this rock work and stuff so I feel like these miles are really great to have like some nice theming in a compact square of land so I really hope that Silverwood goes through on that because that would be phenomenal. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this quick analysis. As you can tell, I'm very, very stoked about it. Unfortunately, I probably won't be going to Silverwood or Idaho anytime soon. But if that's your home park, that is awesome. Hopefully, there'll be more coaster announcements before the end of the year because we're in need of some. 2020 has been rough. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more coaster content coming soon to the channel. This is the Coaster Craze signing off. Goodbye.